अमीर खुसरो जाकिर हुसैन उस्ताद अल्लाह रखा सर दीज आर द मास्टर्स एंड फ्रॉम यूपी सर फ्रॉम यूपी सर अमीर खुसरो इज वेरी फेमस अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट देयर आर टू वेरी फेमस महाराज केशव महाराज इज ऑन दैट एनीवे सो आई थिंक आई डोंट नो व्हेदर गुदई महाराज एंड किशन महाराज आर फ्रॉम यूपी आई चेक अप दैट ओके सो बट यू जस्ट सी दैट दोस टू पीपल आर वेरी फेमस ओके ओके यू वेर मेंबर ऑफ परमार्थ सोशल क्लब इन कॉलेज यस सर व्हाट इज परमार्थ सोशल क्लब सर एक्चुअली इन आवर कॉलेज आफ्टर द क्लासिंग क्लास टाइमिंग्स वी यूज टू स्टडी पीपल्स वी यूज टू टीच पीपल्स हु आर फ्रॉम स्लम एरिया एक्चुअली वी हैव वन स्लम एरिया यस सर दैट इज वन ऑफ द सोशल एक्टिविटीज यू टू डू राइट ओके ठीक है एंड व्हाट इज योर जॉब प्रोफाइल इन आईओसी सर इन आईओसी एक्चुअली आई एम पोस्टेड इन सिटी गैस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन डिपार्टमेंट so they are actually what i have to do is we have to maintain the cng and png connections and we have to increase the level of that so for that we have to actually so I what is the target for png connection to to tier 2 tier 3 cities sir actually in our uh, my city comes in tier 3 so in that uh, uh, after 8 years we have to go for the uh, 80000 connections of png okay after 8 years yes sir after 8 years target is there of iucl okay okay right and what are the uh, projects which are still uh, of ioc which is still not complete sir a lot of projects uh, are there currently at which iocl is working uh, some very famous projects are like the project in which pipeline length has to increase from uh, 7 230 to 1212 km that is paradeep haldia and baroni hmm. pipeline and that is also extended up to muzaffarpur and patna Hmm. and also that some uh, so why that project is delayed so much sir actually uh, the problem is uh, uh, sir whatever the uh, regulations of state government were uh, interfering a lot and also sir uh, what happens is in order to increase the pipelines farmers interfere a lot they hmm. actually don't allow hmm. the uh, our officers <coughs> to do those so okay. taking permissions takes a lot of time okay, sir okay okay what are major infrastructure projects which uh, country is undertaking uh, major Big sir, infrastructure project. So the first one is very famous is Central Vista project actually going okay. on. Okay, it's a and small project. Yes, sir. Hmm. And after that, sir, project in Mumbai, sir, Mumbai Highway is going to be prepared. That is connecting Mumbai to the uh, the Vadodara district, and also, sir, the Ganga Express Highway is we are taking in Uttar Pradesh only. So these are the famous. Ah, uh, water water national waterways. Yes, national waterways also there, sir. Okay. Okay. ठीक है. <coughs> yes, so, can we ask questions from power system? Of course, sir. What do you mean by zone of protection? Protection. So actually, what happens is, uh, in order to, uh, whenever any force takes place, then we don't want uh, each and every component of the system to cut out. So for that, we have to maintain some primary protection and then secondary protection, third and tertiary protection. So for that, actually, we divide the complete power system line into three protection zones. and that is a card as three zone of protection in which actually first zone covers 80% of the line and second zone covers 80% to the 150% is actually the uh, remaining 20% and other line 50% and the third zone covers uh, that line and the 20% of the third line so in this manner sir what happens is suppose if any fault takes place then first primary production will work and secondary production have some delay time more than that of primary 
then secondary position will work and again if all uh, does not uh, came out then third time okay. will go okay okay uh, what are internal and external faults sir so, suppose if uh, uh, in a machine what happens is uh, if any fault takes place in its components like uh, if we talk about synchronous machines then any fault taking place in its winding uh, or uh, any time over uh, failure fault these types of fault actually comes in internal faults and suppose if any fault takes place uh, that is out existing outside the machine like if you talk about the fault happening in transmission lines so what will they will not come in under the internal fault so they will if i talk it. with respect to zona protection then how will you define um, internal and external faults mm -hmm. Sir, in terms of zona protection, what happens is uh, if we're talking about any respective zona protection, mm -hmm. then according to that we will tell. Suppose if any fault takes place in that protection zone, then we mm -hmm. will say that it is internal, but it will be external for any other zone. So in this manner, in respective zone, we will talk about the zona protection. Okay. What are relays? Sir, relays is actually a fault sensing element which senses the fault, and according to that, it uh, uh, tells the circuit breaker that uh, a fault is taking place, and you have to perform your respective work. Achha. So, this is sensing element, sir. Okay. When are the directional relays used? The directional relays are actually used whenever the direction of the fault is not going to be reversed. So, in that manner, we use some polytonic devices which work in single direction only, and that's why they are the directional relay comes in. Can you purpose. name any device which works in uh, single direction only? Any power electronic device? Yes, sir. So, like as thyristor, we can see it works in single direction. Okay. And also, sir, a lot of devices are there, like diode in, in diodes in analog, sir. Okay. Diodes we can use? No sir, we can't use diodes because the power which uh, occurring in our power systems that is not uh, up to the mark means that is diode will not be, it will burn out. That's why power diodes are there. So okay. we go for a CR. What is the difference between a fuse and breaker? Sir, fuse is actually one time device means actually suppose if current becomes greater than that of the limiting value then fuse wire will burn and according to that we have to replace it only manually. We have to go for the replacement of fuse. But circuit breaker actually works uh, uh, whenever the system fault uh, there, uh, there is occurrence of fault and after that it has the capability to uh, manually as well as uh, uh, some system is there in a circuit breaker also by making the circuit we again this, this again came into picture. Mm, good. Uh, can you comment on the melting point of the fuse material? Sir, uh, it depends on the material but uh, I think sir, uh, I'm not I am wanting to know whether it should be high or it should be low. It should be very high sir. High not for the much high means to uh, that extent that uh, suppose if any fault then it could it can judge if it will be very high then it will not be able to judge that so it will be at uh, that value that it can judge so it will be low only. Achha. What is slack bus? So, so, sir, what happens is uh, suppose if any power system uh, uh, if we uh, apply the power power flow equations then we want any bus at which regulations can take place so slack bus is that bus which have unity magnitude of voltage and the reference bus actually where the angle of uh, flag bus take, takes as zero and according to that one angle zero is defined for that and from that perspective every other bus voltage and current uh, voltage and angle is going to okay, be calculated okay. sir. Chalo, thoda machine mein aate what is auto transformer? Sir, auto transformer is the one which actually uh, have uh, primary and secondary winding in the common manner. So hmm. what happens is uh, it, uh, it actually uh, by deviating the common winding number of turns we can regulate the secondary voltage uh, in respect to that of the primary voltage so that is auto transformer sir. at least three advantages sir that advantage of auto transformer first one we can say is uh, for the same power rating uh, the copper winding copper which we require in auto transformer is less in comparison to two winding transformer Good. the second one is uh, uh, whatever the if suppose we are by consuming same material if we are preparing two winding transformer and again we are con converting into auto transformer then the efficiency of the auto transformer will be very very high in comparison to that of the two winding transformer and other one we can say sir the losses which is actually occurring in auto transformer will be very very less in comparison to two any application of auto transformer practical sir, application yes sir actually sir in starters we use auto transformer that is very famous auto transformer starters hmm. what happens is uh, sir auto transformer the proper uh, as a probability or uh, has a property that uh, it actually uh, varies the uh, starting voltage of uh, DC machines uh, or induction machines in comparison to that of the uh, 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 applied voltage. So by that uh, in starters we can use auto transformer. So the current limiting current actually becomes x square times of ISC. That's why limiting current is not uh, possible in other starting conditions. So that's why it is very preferable starting okay. with that. Last question. Ki, what is the advantage of stationary armature and rotating field system? Sir, uh, the first one is cooling will be very easy. 
Hmm. And sir, the second one we can say is, uh, uh, sir, if our field binding have, we know that less inertia in comparison to that of stator binding. So uh, the rotation of the machine will be little bit easier as well as insulation provide uh, insulation. The force which is actually occurring on the insulation will be very very less. And sir, other we can say mechanical balance will be there. And uh, sir, commutation will be sir. easier. Sir, sir. Mr. Krishna. Yes, sir. What is the nature of work at your job place? What is the nature of work? So at, at uh, my job place, actually we have uh, the work which we have allotted is we have to uh, make sure that people become aware about the compressed natural gas and PNG natural gas connection. They become uh, more and more influenced to that. And according to that, we use a lot of uh, uh, methods like we put actually from last 30, 30 days, we, actually, we have put a lot of boardings and holdings. We are actually contacted from a lot of no bus technical work. No so technical. Three bucks completed. Okay. Nah? <laughs> We're experienced. Yes, sir. I just completed months, no? three months. No. I recently joined Indian Air. Mm. No technical work. So technical, sir. Actually, we have to uh, that there is technical actually. We have to make sure the customer become aware for that. So we have to tell them in compare in terms of technical terms only that how CNG is going to be beneficial in terms of that LPG they are using or that is petrol or diesel they are using. Okay. So by technical terms, actually, we say that th this is more secure as well as the efficiency will be high. Your okay. 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 No problem. No problem. What is synchronizing power? Sir, uh, synchronizing power is actually whenever rotor deviates from its position. So a power is required which actually makes rotor to its stable position. So the power which is actually required is called as synchronizing power, which is actually defined as uh, EFVT by excess cos delta. Uh, that is actually comes from the differentiation of the power equation. Okay. So it is this. It's, it's when the synchronizing power is high at uh, no load condition or at full load condition? Sir, synchronizing power will be high at uh, no load condition only. Why? Sir, because uh, at load condition, we'll, we require a lot of, uh, suppose if any fault takes place, then a lot of uh, power will be required in order to make the rotor at, at its uh, uh, stable position. So that's why loaded power, synchronizing power will be high. Okay. What is the transient? So transients is actually whenever any disturbance comes in the system, then according to that, the parameters of the system is not able to uh, sustain a stable value. So they uh, vary for uh, some distance and after that they, st stay, uh, they attain stable value. Okay. So the what is the need to transient. study about this transient analysis? Sir, we need to study transient analysis because uh, we must try we have the uh, we must try to know that uh, actually in between the disturbance how uh, by applying disturbance how the system is performing means uh, how the current is varying how it became reaches. What is the advantage with that one by doing that analysis? What is the advantage? Sir, by uh, by advantage, sir, actually we can go for the ratings of the system first one. Suppose if in transient uh, current increases very high value and we are actually uh, uh, analyzing only steady state, then we will not be able to get the high value. So by uh, by those uh, we can able to get the ratings of the uh, systems we can perform like capacitor inductors as well as circuit breakers also. So that's why transient is very important. Can you draw the ZPF characteristics? Yes, sir. <coughs> so this one will be there. okay. To get the ZPF characteristics, which load is connected? Sir, uh, the load uh, we can connect any zero power factor load like capacitor inductor. Capacitor also. No, sir, but uh, in, in machine synchronous machine we connect inductor. No, to get the JPF character six, which f by using which load you got that character six. This is inductive load, sir. Inductive load. Why we are why they are not using capacitor load? Sir, because uh, in practical systems uh, we come across a lot of inductive loads only. We yes, have sir. we have some capacitor loads also, no? Yes, sir, we have, but. but uh, uh, in most of the cases, we come across inductive loads only. And sir, also we can say that sir, actually inductive capacity load works as a voltage regulator also means it can increase the voltage at the terminal of the machine. So that's why I think maybe we don't use capacity loads at the end, sir. Okay, okay. In case of DC generator, what is the nature of that EMF? Is it alternating or unidirectional? Sir, internally it's alternating only, sir. Alternating. Can you write the voltage equation for shunt generator? What is the question for such generator? Sir, Only voltage yeah. equation I want. I don't want figure. Just okay. voltage equation. That is it. Generator. Generator voltage equation. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Alternating means frequency present or not present? Yes, sir. Frequency will be present. When are the frequency is there? Some reactance also present? Yes, sir. Then where is the reactance term in that equation? 
So actually, we have learned in DC machine that the reactance comes in picture is a very of very small value means for a small time also. So that's why we can neglect that inductance. Why it is small? So actually, the we are uh, having the uh, at what speed is rotated approximately? So actually, in uh, in a uh, three thousand or three fifty. The RPM. frequency, sir. But uh, the commutation time is used to be very less. So that uh, variation that is I C Y A to minus I C Y A. That variation in in between that we can neglect inductance compared to that of the resistance. Okay. So okay. comparatively, we can neglect that in comparison to resistance. Any other can... reason? <coughs> Any other reason? Sir, uh, sir, maybe because we are talking about the DC machines, then uh, if we can if we uh, take the average of complete uh, scenario, then in uh, after taking average value, the inductance will have no effect. That okay, okay, no problem. <coughs> what is the difference between the isolator and circuit breaker? Sir, so, uh, circuit breaker is actually what happens is suppose if uh, any circuit is any condition, the circuit breaker uh, comes in picture. But isolator we have to go for manually means manually we disconnect the isolator, and after that only we go for, we go for any production. Actually, if we want any maintenance for the production system, then after connecting isolator, uh, then we go for the maintenance. So isolator is actually physical connection means actually we can see that the our devices connected uh, physically. But circuit breaker we can't see physically means the, uh, some internal connection will be there and we will not able to see. So in that manner, isolated different from circuit breaker, sir. Okay. Did you hear about this gas insulated substation? Yes, sir. What is the advantage of that one? Sir, actually, the breadboard voltage of gas insulated substation used to be high in comparison to that of the any other. Normal. Any other, sir? Any other, sir? We can see some safety purpose means uh, it is safer than that of other insulating methods, sir. Sure. Sir, I think so means uh, that can be the reason. I am not uh, very sure about that. Okay. Can you explain about the hysteresis motor? Yes, sir. Hysteresis motor actually works on the basis of uh, hysteresis uh, uh, torque. So according to that, uh, some uh, what happens is the re reluctance uh, produces uh, means uh, some uh, because of some reluctance. What happens is the rotor and the stator MMF is have some phase difference, and according to according to that, the rotor follows the stator uh, MMF. So in this manner, hysteresis motor works, sir. What is the speed of the rotor? So the speed of the rotor used to be very very less in hysteresis motor. I am not uh, exact. Uh, I am not sure about the data of exact data. Okay. <coughs> in the transformer, you might have seen about the dotted points at your job place. They provide the dotted points. Yes, sir. Dot connection. How they provide the dot connection? Sir, for providing dot connection, they go for polarity test actually. Mm -hmm. So for polarity test, uh, actually, what we do is we connect uh, some voltmeters across the winding as well as in between the windings also. So from that uh, voltmeter readings, we judge that whether the uh, the connection is additive or 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 subtractive. So in that manner only polarity is going to be given okay. for the transformer. Okay. Dear Krishna, yes sir. How to check the performance of a rectifier circuit? Sir, by what the are the parameters? Sir, ripple factor we can say. Hmm. By the ripple factor actually, if the ripple. No, just name it. Sir, ripple factor, form hmm. factor we can say. Hmm. Form factor. Hmm. Sir, as well as sir. Uh, 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 Mm. Sir, voltage regulation means uh, we can use sir. Mm. That's it, sir. Anything Any named as like efficiency, sir. We can say mm. uh, as well as uh, sir. If rectify using any transformer, then transformer utilization factor we can use. Mm. As well as sir, if rectifier have any diodes, uh, then rectifier. Uh, repeat, sir. If rectifier means uh, any diodes is there in rectifier. In rectifier, we are using diodes or any other components, sir. Uh, we can have diodes as well as a uh, CR also. Okay. So by using the peak inverse voltage, low power regulators suppose. Okay, sir. Uh, then it is only diode. Yes, diodes, sir. is it? Yes, sir. Hmm. Tell me, with respect to diodes. Yes, sir. We can uh, we can measure the uh, uh, reverse breakdown voltage means actually what is happening. And what is the name of that, that term? The peak inverse voltage. We can good, say, we good, say uh, good, that. Good. What are the different uh, rectifier circuits? Sir, different means uh, sir. We use half wave rectifier. Mm. Uh, we use full wave rectifier, and according in that we can classify in two terms: means center type full wave rectifier, mm. as well as bridge rectifier. So these are the rectifiers, sir. With respect to diodes, what is the difference we are looking between the bridge rectifier and center type rectifier? Sir, uh, the bridge rectifier, uh, in, sir, center type rectifier have two times of peak in voltage. That is two vm of peak inverse voltage to the diodes. But in bridge rectifier, the peak inverse voltage comes only the maximum of the input voltage only. 
so that's why the bridge rectifier advantageous in comparison to center tap as well as sir in center tap the transformer which we use is of high rating in comparison to that of the bridge rectifier so that's mm -hmm. in that term also it is beneficial sir good 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 what is the operating point it means what sir operating point with respect to bjt sir operating point is actually what happens is uh, uh, when we go for the biasing of the device then at the dc uh, uh, voltages and current at which actually the device is working is called as operating point and on that point you see only the ac load line is going to be governed so what is the importance of the operating point sir by the uh, uh, by knowing the value of operating point we can uh, go for the means uh, what happens is if operating point is not up to the mark then we have distortion in the waveform of ac so Good. that's why it is beneficial sir what is the difference between h parameter model and pi parameter model of a bjt sir in h parameter model uh, uh, we have some terms like uh, sir uh, actually the model is going to be to have to just to find out the gain only but the method in which we are deriving those parameters is different so sir h parameter model we have ho hfev equals that is beta and sir we have shunt that is 1 by hoe and in input we have hre and the input current hi and in rpi model sir we go for terms like rpi that is input impedance that is as rpi is equal to hie only in, in replica of that mm. and sir uh, in uh, output we go for beta gm in the current that is a current uh, source uh, in the downward direction and sir uh, in the output that will be ro that is output one by ro that output is so passive components are only resistors in the pi yes, model sir. yes no capacitors what sir capacitors yes sir is there any cap internal capacitors present in the pi model yes sir we in the, it is present but we actually neglect that in so based on this capacitors how to make a distinguish between h parameter model and pi parameter model sir actually uh, in uh, r pi model uh, the capacitance which we use is of very high value so after going for the miller uh, h parameter model is low frequency model yes sir pi parameter model is high frequency yes sir, yes, sir. okay sir okay what is the race around condition sir race around condition is actually what happens suppose uh, 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 if the pulse width time delay time is uh, is less than that of the uh, the delay time of the device then what happens is the output fluctuates that is 0 1 0 repeat one. sir if uh, what happens is uh, uh, if the pulse width delay uh, that is a pulse width of a clock signal of a clock signal mm. uh, is uh, is uh, so it is actually lesser than that of the delay of the device means delay of the, the flip flop yes a flip flop uh. then uh, the output uh, uh, oscillates uh, so that's why in order to that is like in jk flip flop what happens is if we go for the toggle one one situation then output toggles so that's why in order to restrict that uh, stableness we give to provide stability we go for change karke bolna okay sir means for uh, as you mentioned uh, during the, at the time there is no uh, this one race around condition as and when the pulse width is more than the propagation delay of the flip flop yes, then only we are having possibility for the reason condition uh, sir. but what is it smaller pulse sir, width you said sir but uh, to regular for smaller pulse width okay sir comparing with the propagation delay of the flip flop there is no race around condition okay sir as and when the pulse width is more than only okay sir you mentioned reverse in fact but okay, anyway so, sir, uh, what are the limitations of the ripple counters or uh, synchronous counters What are the limitations we are having with ripple counters comparing with the synchronous counters? So the major uh, drawback of ripple counter in comparison to synchronous counter is we can't go for the random counting sequence. Miss, actually, what happens? Oh, I got no, no. Uh, next, okay. sir. And sir, uh, in a synchronous counter, we have to go for clock. Uh, means we give clock to each and every response. That's okay. Uh, but in synchronous, <coughs> yes, sir. Major, um, my limitation I said, na? Yes, sir. Mm. sir Any glitches? Ripple counter. Whether we are having any glitches? Sir, yes, sir. In clearing the flip flops, if any uh, gate we are connecting, then glitches come, sir. One last question. What is the difference between ECL logic family and TTL logic family? Major sir, difference. Yes, sir. Sir, ECL is actually used for uh, when whenever no input is connected, then ECL will have uh, output as one, but TTL will produce output as zero. But TTL which uh, if no input is correct. With respect to propagation delay, you speak. Yes, sir. With propagation delay, sir, ECL have very less propagation delay in comparison to TTL, sir. Why ECL is having less propagation delay comparing the TTL? Sir, in that, uh, sir, actually, uh, uh, 
Sir, actually, I'm not. These are there in the syllabus? Yes, sir, I've read that. Sir. I know? Yes, sir, I've oh, read okay. that. If not, I, I want to skip it. No, sir, I, uh. I read that. Uh. Sir, uh, but I'm not able to recall, sir. I think, I think sir. Uh, in ECL, transfers are bias. Working in the active and? Active and saturation mode, sir. Cut off. ECL, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. active that is the reason why they yes, are sir. having they less switch, propagation delay. Switch very fast, sir. Okay, good. Okay. So we close your interview. When Thank is you, your sir. interview uh, in the? Sir, my interview is on fourth of March, sir. Fourth March. Okay. Uh, we'll call you uh, for the feedback just in a minute. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank yeah. you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Sir. Hello, sir. Yeah, Thank please you. come. Hmm. Please take your seat. Okay. Thank you, sir. Krishna, you are a very good candidate, very promising, okay. Uh, but there are two, three things which we will like to give you feedback, okay. Yes, sir. So, uh, first is that um, your uh, knowledge about general program and uh, government program and also electronics and elect both electricals, that should be broadened slightly. Okay, sir. Touch upon what are new initiatives energy scenario you gave all those in all those mission but slightly more data more information about that okay so say like, sir, you what is the target date okay how much we are trying to do say for hydrogen initiative how much money has been given so that will add flavor okay sir. And I'm, I'm just telling Start substantive yes, more sir. substance in that okay, okay rather sir. than verbose okay so this is one the second is on most uh, questions, I would expect brief reply. Mm. Okay. Uh, so, you have tendency of giving explanation also along with the reply. Right? Yes, sir. Now, the question is, okay, explanation is, should only be given when asked. Okay, sir. Why? Okay. How? When it is asked then. But you, you have a tendency of lecture. Yes, sir. Okay. So, they, it is there that uh, the board may not give you that much time. Okay. okay. So, uh, first thing first. So, if the, if the question is pointed, it is seeking pointed answer, come to the pointed thing. Okay. And uh, in, in science or technology, there is always technical word. Yes, sir. Right. It can be explained in a layman's language, but there is a technical word, technical word for that. So, use that expression okay, okay, better. So, then the board would know that he knows. Right? So, this is a little So, one more issue hai aapka. Wo ye ki jab aap reply kar rahe hai one to one. Theek hai? So, you are tunnel. Focusing that. You are focusing on that person, you are, you are oblivious of the whole world. Okay. That happens with many people. Intelligent people, that happens. Concentrating people, that happens. Right. Yes, but here you have to engage everybody. Yes, sir. So, an occasional glance, smile, occasional <laughs> smile would be very nice. Okay. Okay. So that's that. The general awareness, general happening in the world, that is, that will be there. So, from my side, it is there. Today we are giving you 124, right? Uh, but you are a candidate of 134. Okay. Yes, sir. Now this 10 mark difference, you have to work on till 4th March, right? Okay, sir. And, and whatever we have given you feed, feedback, it is an honest solution to yourself, right? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. You will start to teach board, as sir said. ठीक है पहला ऑब्जर्वेशन मैंने भी यही लिखा था जो सर ने बताया कि मेक योर आंसर्स बिट शॉर्टर जितना छोटा हो सके क्रिस्प आंसर बनाइए ठीक दूसरी चीज क्या हुई यहां शुरुआत बहुत अच्छी हुई जब तक पावर सिस्टम मशीन स्लोली आप जब फंस गए एंड सर तक जाते जाते आपका कॉन्फिडेंस साफ-साफ दिख रहा था कि इट इज डिक्लाइनिंग ठीक है तो कॉन्फिडेंस की यूनिफॉर्मिटी बना के चलना ठीक है आप 100% थोड़ा अटेम्प्ट कर पाएंगे और दूसरी बात जो आ नहीं आता है उसको जहां पर यू आर नॉट श्योर डोंट ट्रेड कुछ एंजल्स फेयर ओके फूल्स रशिंग एंजल्स फेयर टू ट्रेड ओके यस सर 
राइट सो डोंट रश इन वेर यू डू नॉट नो ठीक है आप आप खुद अब जाकर के बैठ के याद करना कुछ क्वेश्चंस आपको बिल्कुल नहीं आते थे सर से या सर से एंड यू ब्लाइंडली गेस दो क्वेश्चन ठीक है ब्लाइंड गेस्ट में नहीं जाना है ठीक है छोड़ दो दूसरा क्वेश्चन आएगा ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आएगा लेकिन अगर आप ब्लाइंड डालोगे ना तो एक तो थोड़ा सा लेक्चर देने वाली टेंडेंसी भी आ रही है हो सकता है कि कोई बोर्ड मेंबर ऑफेंडेड हो जाए कि अच्छा तुम मुझे पढ़ाना चाहते हो और आता भी नहीं तुम्हें तो दैट में गो इन द रॉन्ग डायरेक्शन तो इस चीज को कंट्रोल करो बाकी ठीक है अच्छा है कोई थैंक यू सर Right. Krishna, you are having a very good technical knowledge, yes, and get some evidence about the practical hmm. part. Apply. These yes, uh, non-conventional energy sources. Okay, sir. And even electrical vehicles regarding batteries. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so drawing spot also good, but little brush up kar lo, getting more clarity. Okay. And the microprocessor, microcontroller, so my question he pushed up because of time. Okay, sir. You may, you may be having questions in the. फाइनल इंटरव्यू थोड़ा ब्रश अप करके जाओ होपफुली यू आर फेमिलियर थोड़ा ब्रश अप कर एक और चीज जब आपके रोल के बारे में कहा गया था योर योर रोल इज वेरी सिंपल पब्लिक कम्युनिकेशन या इंफॉर्मेशन एजुकेशन एंड कम्युनिकेशन आईसी सिंपल यू वेंट अराउंड हाई साउंडिंग वर्ड्स एटसेट्रा यू यू आर बेसिकली पब्लिक रिलेशन ऑफिसर ओके एंड पब्लिक कम्युनिकेशन डोंट अलाउड राइट जितना सिंपल शब्दों का यूज करोगे उतना लेस फंसोगे उतने ज्यादा नंबर मिलेंगे जितना आप जारगन्स का यूज करोगे बड़े बड़े शब्दों का यूज करोगे जहां टेक्निकल है वहां करो राइट लेकिन नॉर्मल आंसर स्ट्रिक्ट आई एम श्योर यू विल डू वेल यू विल सर्टली डू वेरी वेल यू आर अ वेरी प्रोमिसिंग कैंडिडेट वी कुड हैव गिवन यू मोर बट वी वॉन्टेड यू टू फोकस एंड ठीक है Sir, one question answer I wanted to know about the the question you asked about uh, the that uh, synchronous power will have maximum value at no load or full load. You only get a form when the cast delta. Yes, sir. At no load condition, the delta value zero. But the cast delta value high. Okay, answer. Yes, sir. <laughs> and one more question, sir. I am not uh, I am not able to recall that question. Sir, what was that means? Uh, some about the machines you asked, sir. So I will look. I will look that in videos. We will. I will see that. Okay. Thank okay. you, sir. Thank okay. You, sir. All the best. All the best. Good luck. Thank you, sir.